Oh, look at your face. Huffing and puffing. Who knew you were such an old man? Is this a race? Or are you aiming to turn this into a fight? Calm down, calm down. It's a race. In fact, how about we up the stakes? Say, five to one? What do you say? All right, you're on. And we're off! your face huffing and is this a race all right you're on and we're off
your face huffing and puffing who knew you were such an old man is this a race or are you aiming to turn this into a fight calm down calm down it's a race in fact how about we up the stakes say five to one what do you say all right you're on and we're off Did you hear? Renegades attacked the canteen. Nowhere safe anymore. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Your face huffing and puff. Is this a race? And we're off. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What's going on here? Babel, are you okay? You moron! Oh, fuck me. The two of you are twins. No wonder you kept winning. When I started a race with one of you, the other was already at the finish line. Look at him, Babel. His brain finally caught up to his legs. You don't know when to stop, do you? Wait. We're not bad people, okay? I mean, we're probably not all that good either, but my point is... Everyone does what they do best, right? And this is just what we're good at. We tried to do other things, you know? Things we were not very good at. And we ended up getting in debt. Serious debt. And now we have to pay it. So you scam people? Nobody gets hurt. We're not bandits. Listen, what if we gave you back your wager and forgot about the whole thing, huh? I can't blame anyone but myself. Should have seen you idiots coming a mile away. Just keep the damn money and get lost. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Now get lost before I change my mind. You 
numbskull. You had to let those biters catch you, didn't you? What, you think I did that on purpose? Give me a break. I need to find what who are you looking for that's the problem I don't remember mon dieu I knew I should have stopped after that first pint of cider I put a box of glitter in one of my scarecrows but which one you make scarecrows I thought this was an art workshop <laughs> making scarecrows is art they're very much in demand and I'm good at designing them. People call me the Scarecrow Queen. I cater to individual needs. You want a Scarecrow Cowboy? A hot-looking Scarecrow? Maybe Count Dracula to guard your veggies? <gasps> I even created a replica of a woman's dead husband for her. You name it, Gabrielle's can make it. Why did you put glitter in a Scarecrow? I was planning to use it for a special order. A sweet unicorn scarecrow for a sweet little girl. This glitter cost me a fortune, and I wanted to hide it somewhere safe, but now I can't remember which one of my babies I picked. Uh, maybe I could find it for you. All I remember is that there was a naked woman and a tree. Somehow the scarecrow is above them. Man, you must have been wasted. What were you implying, young man? I know what I saw. A naked lady and a tree. They'll lead you to my scarecrow, if you're open-minded enough. I think the infection is not well over a nice paint. Hey, that graffiti on the wall, that, that, that's the naked woman. And the tree. Gabrielle's scarecrow must be around here somewhere.
Just by looking at the rain gauge. Don't you check it? Didn't know it could tell you things like that. I'll show you sometime. You seem to know a lot about crops. My uncle runs a farm. He used to have over 300 acres. What's a hectic? Check my stuff out! Need something? That'll help. Good one, buddy. Good choice. Let's do this again. Some days, I wonder what's the point of all this, you know? Good evening, Aiden. men to leave the island camp. Damn PKs don't care about us. Watch yourself, you hear? Looking sharp, Aiden. Inhibitor container detected. Practically one of us now. Turning on the power. Strange that someone would put a reading chair next to a scarecrow. And whatever used to grow here seems dead. Oh, 
and here's the glitter. One little girl's gonna be pleased. your glitter, Gabrielle. Oh, thank you, young man. Here, take this for your trouble. Your scarecrow wasn't doing a good job. Wasn't protecting any crops, and there was a reading chair next to it. A reading chair? Then it was doing the job it was designed for. Keeping someone company. It's what most people use them for these days. No kidding. Would you like me to make a scarecrow for you? Yes, please. Would you use glitter on it, too? Oh, don't be silly. I'm taking this very seriously. Come back later and see if you like it. Shop away. Snazzy. Look for me near the metro sign. Have the moonshine you asked for. Finally. I hope it helps you. Oh, it will. Thanks. Just don't get caught drinking it, or they'll flog you. <laughs> they can go fly a kite now. Why's that? Doesn't matter. Thanks for the help. Take care, Pilgrim. You too. told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. 
But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Go.